Hello guys, welcome back to the next video where we are solving question number 12 from the ISC 2023 question paper. If you have missed out the previous videos, check out the entire playlist from the description box below. And if you don't want to miss out any future videos, then click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. This question 12 is a sum on comparative statement of profit and loss for Horizon Limited. Pretty straightforward sum for a 3 marks question. So first, this is the revenue from operations which is given. We have other income, we have cost of materials consumed and depreciation and amortization expenses. Alright, so let's put that. Other income is given and revenue from operations is mentioned as 100% of other income. So if we put other income as given in the question, which is 1 lakh and 50,000. So in that case, the revenue from operations also is the same amount because 100% of that amount is the same amount that we have. So that gives us the total revenue, which is 2 lakh and 1 lakh for each of the years. Then we have cost of materials consumed straight away given in the question, 50,000 and 20,000. Depreciation and amortization expenses are also given straightforward in the question. Just we have to pick it up and put it in the right place. Total expenses that we have is 50 plus 10,000, which is 60,000 and 25,000. In that case, profit before tax is total revenue minus total expenses which is 1 lakh 40 at 75,000 tax we don't have anything so this only becomes our profit the net profit all right so since this is not given we can completely avoid these two lines these are not required as well okay we can leave it here profit before tax okay absolute change is current year minus previous year so we have to do it for each and every item one by one even for the totals we have to do this current year minus previous year that gives us the absolute change for each of the figures all right and then we have the proportionate percentage change which is the absolute change divided by previous year into 100 okay that gives us the answers for each of the years so absolute change by previous year in 200 that's the formula for the total as well you have to do the same thing absolute change by previous year in 200 for their respective amounts all right don't be confused just do not deviate from the formula this is what we have absolute change by previous year in 200 for each one of the items all right by previous year in 200 do not get confused with current year figures so absolute change by previous year in 200 and when you get such figures round it off to two decimal places always all right and that's the entire sum that we have got for a three mark question all right hope this was helpful we'll catch you all in the next video with the next series of sums that we have hit the like button and share with your friends stay tuned for more thanks for watching